Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, so today, oh, goner. So today I wanted to do a tutorial on the look that I'm wearing right now. I wore it on New Year's and I got a lot of questions about it and I got a lot of compliments on it. So I figured I would make a tutorial for you guys. And I hope that you guys love this look as much as I do. And I will see you in my next video. What we're going to do is I'm going to start out by priming my eyelids and I'm going to use NARS um, Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. So after my eyelids are primed, I'm going to go in with a black eyeliner and I'm going to cover my whole lid in this. So anytime you're using a color that is not going to show up or you want to show up more vibrant, um, I would just go in with a black liner, a black gel, black eyeshadow. Um, anything creamy tends to work better because it has a better base for you to work with. So I have this little tiny Benefit Hula guy that I like to use because it was a tester and I have the big one so I just use this one for my eyes. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a blending brush and this is the Sigma E40 and I'm going to blend that into my crease. And don't worry about the black. We don't that doesn't need to be anything. It's just there. Okay. Let me take a little bit. So after I do that, um, we are going to take a crease brush, and mine looks like this. It is from Eco Tools. I got it at Walgreens, I think. And then I'm going to take this purple eyeshadow. I need to get a Z palette so I can stick them in there. But this is in the um, shade Dahlia. It's from Stila. And I use this a lot. It's probably one of my favorite shades. Um, so I'm just going to get some of that on the brush and what I'm going to do is I am going to <clears throat> blend that onto my corners. On the outer corner. You definitely want to focus, you want to go all the way into your inner corner, but you definitely want to focus on the outer corner. Okay, so once you get that on there, I know it looks messy, but it's fine because we are going to fix that. You want to keep your purple out because you're going to use it again. So once you get that on there, you just want to blend 
that purple shade in. If it's not purple enough for you, you can pick up some more purple, which is what I'm going to do Oops. on that same Eco Tools brush. I'm just going to pat some more purple. And the reason why I'm patting is because I want it to be pretty dense so that when I blend it, you can really see the purple more than what we've been seeing. So once you get that pretty blended, you're going to go ahead and blend the other side. I just want to make sure that is blended out. And don't worry, I know it looks rough, but we're not finished. So, then what I'm going to do <coughs> is, here comes the fun part. This is the glitter. So I'm going to be using this um, LA Splash Proof Concealer and this I think you can get at, I want to say the dollar store, sorry, you can get, um, I know you, um, Hobby Lobby has glitter which will work just as well. And it looks like this and I just spilled that. So what you want to do is apply this glue and you want to pat it on, mine has my piece of my hair in it, you want to pat this glue all over the eyelid but you want it thickest in your inner corner because you want the glitter to kind of have like an ombre effect on your eyelid. So you definitely just want to pat this on there, up to your crease, where you put the black earlier. And you just want it to lightly fade out to the outside. So then I'm going to take, I already have a brush that's covered in glitter somewhere. So then I'm going to take a flat brush that looks like this. Um, any flat brush will do. You can see mine's already covered in glitter. But my eyelid's sticking together. So I'm just going to pat this brush on my eye just to get some glue on it. And then I'm going to stick it into the glitter and get some glitter on there. And you just want to start patting. You want to make sure that it's kind of neat because it doesn't really blend out because it is glitter. But once you get to the outside, just make sure it kind of tapers off because you don't want it to be so condensed on the outside that it takes away from the purple that's on your eye. And don't worry, if you don't get enough, you can always go back. And the reason um, why I did my eyes first is because this glitter is a mess and if you get it on your foundation it's on there for good you're gonna look like Edward some glue I actually decided that I do want it clear to the outside because I like it. If you don't feel like you don't have it, if you feel like you don't have enough in certain spots, just go back in with your glue. I want mine to be clear down here. I'm sorry, you guys are probably like seeing the back of my compact this whole video.
Okay. So I'm going to zoom you guys in. So you can see. So I like to take more purple and set it over the glitter because it makes the glitter so pretty. So. So after you do that, you want to take your um, Sigma E40 or whatever blending brush you have and some more hula, and I'm sure I'm just covered in sparkles right now. Look like a vampire. That was probably scary. I'm going to blend the top of this once more. And then what I like to do is get a giant powder brush. This is a Sigma powder brush. It's an F30. And just make sure there's no glitter. And I like to start right in the middle when I do my wing. And then I just go straight out and flick the brush up. And then come from the bottom lash line and connect it. Then I just fill in the middle. So then I like to start in the middle, like I said, go straight out, and I do mean straight, and flick your brush up, and then come from your bottom lash line, sorry, my nose is itching, and connect them, connect the two lines. And then you can fill in the back. The lashes I'm using are from Kiss. I got them at um, where did I get mine? Walgreens. They have them at Walgreens. They have them at CVS. They have them at Walmart. You can find them anywhere. Um, they are the Ever Easy Lashes, and they look like this, and they are so beautiful. They are in number three. They're really black, and um, I love them. I think they work great, so. Okay, so then again, for my lashes, got my mirror. I like to start in the middle of my eye and press it down. And then I move to the outside, and then I move to the inside. And I just broke every lash roll in the book by not putting on mascara first. The mascara that I do like to use for my lashes is the Tarte Gifted, and the packaging is so cute. I love it. It's bamboo, I think. I'm assuming. <laughs> but I'm also going to put my mascara on these lashes right now because they are, um, they're pretty, but, and they're beautiful for like an everyday look, but since um, personally, I don't think they're dramatic enough for this look, so I'm going to put mascara on them. Pinch them in my tweezers, like so. Pinch them up, pinch them, pinch them. And again, 
I like to start in the middle and go to the outside and then back to the inside. Um, waterline, I'm <laughs> for my waterline, I am going to be using the NYC eyeliner pencil and it looks like this and it's my water line. But when I did this look on New Year's, I actually skipped this part. And I think, I'm pretty sure I used black eyeliner. Because I forgot that I had this. And then I saw it and I was like, damn it. And I should have used it. I should have just put it on anyways but instead I just got some more Dahlia with a pencil brush and just smoked it out under there but today since we found it we're gonna use it now, shall we move on we shall okay we are gonna move on to our face and I was going to use my Kat Von D Locket ta foundation tattoo. What? No. <laughs> I was going to use my Locket tattoo foundation. But since I primed my face with my um, Tarte CC cream, when I got it, I was a little bit darker. And so um, my face is like a little bit orange right now. And this is a couple shades darker than me. Because, I don't know, I honestly don't know why. I mean, it works, and I can make it work, and I like to use it, but I don't want to pile this on with this correcting cream, because then I'm going to be extra dark. So, instead, I am going to use my CoverGirl True Blend foundation. I love this foundation. So I like to put some on the back of my hand. And um, for applying it, I use the um, Bare Minerals Precision Face Brush. It is an angled um, kabuki. So I just like to get some product in my brush and just go all over my face. I go down my neck, and put my hair out of the way, like so, just to make sure you have an even blended coverage. Going to go under my eye, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. like so. out to the beginning. I make a small triangle and then I like to hit my chin down the bridge of my nose and then whatever's left on the brush I will put on my forehead. Looks like I'm going into war. <laughs> For Narnia! Just kidding. So then I'm going to take my damp beauty blender because I love it. And we're going to just blend the good stuff. The good good. I'm going to take this e.l.f. Uh, translucent mattifying powder. She looks like this. There's a little sponge in there. I hate it. I've used it a couple times and I hate it. So I don't use it. And I'm going to take this Mally. Just a little flat brush and I'm going to just mmm great yeah we're gonna brush this sponge to death I'm just gonna pick up some of that and I'm going to put this on my foundation this is what I'm going to do do you guys like how I try to pick up some sponge mm-hmm so then for my under eye, 
I am going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. <clears throat> and I'm going to use the shade Banana, which is right here. And I'm just going to use this tiny baby Mally brush. So after I make sure everything is set, I am then going to take another e.l.f. brush that I love. And it's one of my favorites. And she looks like this. And this actually is a, um, it's a blush brush, but I love to use it to contour. And I'm not sure which shade this is from Anastasia, but I think that it may be Fawn. I think that's what it is. I don't know, but I love it. So I'm just going to pick some of that up on my brush. to the other side. Then I'm also going to go up onto the forehead. The blush I'm going to use is from NYX and it is in the shade Mocha. Looks like this, which I don't know why it's called Mocha because it's not Mocha-y at all. Um, the brush I'm using is a MAC 100 something. It's old. My letters are scratched off of it, which is why I can't tell you what kind of brush it is. Because I've had it forever, but it is the travel size, but it is my favorite blush brush of all time. I just like to apply that. To finish this look off, we are going to do our lips and then we will be done. So for lips, but I'm not going to fill them all the way in, just a little bit. I like to focus it in the middle because I think it looks really pretty. So then I'm going to take my NYX Butter Lipstick, and it is in the shade Snow Cap. <clears throat> oh, thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!